Hello teacher friends, welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. I was just creating my bulletin boards for my in-person classroom. I'm so excited very soon I will be able to get into my classroom and start decorating my classroom. And I wanted to create these giant letters, giant images. I, I was in the process and I was like, why am I not filming this for you guys? This is what I have so far. I like to do a bulletin board with sweet work. I have to still cut it out and then get it laminated before I put it up. But for right now, I want to show you how I make this big giant cupcake and big giant letters for my bulletin boards. Let's dive in. So the first thing you want to do is go into Google Slides. That's where I create everything. And you want to go to page setup. You want to change it to a sheet of paper, eight and a half by 11. will give you the maximum height on your letters. If you prefer them not so tall, but maybe wider, you can do it landscape 11 by eight and a half. This is how I used to do my bulletin board. This is a picture from my classroom. I used the four inch letters I got at the Dollar Tree and I just took butcher paper and I actually accordion folded it for the base and then crunched it up for the yellow and the white and then the cherry on top. So the first thing I wanna do is create my cupcake. Need a blank slide and just go to insert image and I'm going to search the web. This is the one I originally chose. I really like the colors and there we have it. Now all you have to do is expand it and make it as big as you'd like. Keep in mind that this top piece here is eight and a half, almost like 16 inches wide. But of course, if you wanted to go wider, you can make it wider. Keep extending it out and I'm going to change the background of this slide just so that you can see the lines easily. You may not need to. So now we got our image. I'm going to click on the slide, control D to duplicate it. Now going to the next one, you don't want to resize it at all. All you want to do now is crop it. So now I know this side here is going to be my top left. I'm gonna crop it so that I'll have my top right section, which is gonna go everything just on the other side of this page. At the end of the page where I see that red line, that's gonna be one crop and I need to bring it up to the bottom piece of the paper. See how that blue page really helps me to see where I need to crop to and not just look for those guidelines, but the guidelines definitely help. Okay, so that'll be the other half of the top part of this cupcake. Let's just drag it onto our slide. I'm gonna take our slide and duplicate it again so I keep the same dimensions of my cupcake. Going back to the original, I'm gonna duplicate that one again. Keep going back to the original. Now I've got the top left, the top right. Now I need the bottom half. So let's do the bottom left crop out everything but the bottom left. So go to the edge of the paper. You'll see the red line. And then we've got to crop it in to the edge of the paper. Click off the slide so that you crop it and then drag it into position so it's on the slide because we want it fully on the slide so that when we print, we will print the whole thing. You can see right here, it really matches up well. So let's do it again, one more time. And now we need to get the lower right. And there you have it. So I don't need this blue background any longer. So I'm gonna go up here and change it to transparent. Do that for all of them. Did I forget to crop the first one? Maybe, let's crop this one. There we go. I forgot to crop the very first one, that's crazy. Make sure we have all four pieces, we do. I want to change the background to transparent. Don't need any color there and do that on all the slides. So now you're ready to print them all out and tape them all together. 
When I cut it out, I actually left one of the sides with a little bit of overlap so I could line it up really easily. This one's nice, it's right on the edge. And then I could just overlap it on the other one when it's printed. And then I just turn it over and I tape it together on the back side. If you wanted to laminate it, you could laminate it and then tape the four pieces of paper together. But then the nice thing about that, it'll fold up nicely, but I'm not sure how nice that's gonna look on the board. I did mine one whole thing and I'm gonna laminate it as a big cupcake. So there we have our cupcake. Now we gotta do some letters. So now let's go over here and get a blank slide. And I'm going to insert word art and I'm going to put one letter on every single slide. I like word art because you can have a fill color and then you can have a border color. And I'm planning to have the fill color is going to be transparent, no fill color and just have the border. That way when I print it on the AstroBite paper, the paper color shows through. You could put color, but of course it's going to use more ink. I go up here to my fill bucket. I want it transparent, but my border, I do want it to be black and I want to thicken it up a little bit so that I can definitely see it. I think that's a nice look right there. It might be a little too big. I'm wondering if it's going to go a little off my page. So I'm going to center that right there. And there you have your first letter and then print it on Astro Bright paper and cut it out to save time. I just press control D and duplicate that slide and then just double click and change the letter. Sometimes with letters, you might have to make little adjustments, but it's much better than doing all of it. And then I just keep going until I have all my letters. If this was not the font you would like, you can also change the font. Often I use cherry cream soda for everything. That is definitely another option to change the font. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, just like I said, print this on AstroBrite paper. And let me just show you what it's going to look like. It's going to be like this. You would just then cut it out and have it laminated. I think that's going to look really cute on my AstroBrite paper once I get it cut out and laminated. Other option that I was thinking of is more like doing pennant. So let's get a blank slide. And to do that, go to insert shape. I'm going to go all the way to the top and make it the width of the paper. That way that'll be less cutting for me. I could make it longer if I wanted. Not sure what design would be better. I'm going to have my fill color transparent. So now that I have my pennant design, I'm going to go back to insert and I'm going to do word art again because that'll give me the option to make this as big as I possibly can. And it also gives me the great option of filling in the colors. Change it to my favorite cherry cream soda and we want to go transparent for the fill and then just keep that border. I can do gray. That looks nice. A little softer. If I wanted to add some dimension to the border I can do that as well. That might look kind of fun when you cut it out. This is one I really like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the fill color in here and just print it on colored paper for the pennant portion. Stick around in just a moment. I'm going to show you a couple other pennant options. If you're interested in that, stick around. As you can see, that's going to be a really nice pennant. That's one pennant. There's another pennant option I was looking at. So the other pennant option, let's insert another blank slide. I really like this one. And I'm going to keep the fill in this transparent because my plan would be to print it on colored paper, but I like to add one more little shape, it makes it look like a little pocket and then add those little stitches around the side for your border. It looks really cute. So if you're trying to save money, don't put the fill color in it and print it on colored paper. So if I wanted this color, I would just have to print it on blue paper. So just think about that. What color paper are you printing it on? So I can actually do that then transparent and just have this yellow stitching show up on the blue paper, or I can change the color of that. And then you're going to insert your image, 
Remember, all of this would be blue or whatever color paper you're going to print it on. Insert my word art. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in. And let me just show you what if you print it, this will show you what it's going to look like on printed paper. So depending on what color paper you print it on, this will give you an idea. You just want to make sure if you're printing it on color paper, definitely change this background to transparent. Okay, I'm not sure though. For my sweet work, should I just go? I think I'll definitely go. If I go block letters, I definitely want cherry cream soda as my font. But do I just do these block letters with my big giant cupcake? Or should I put them in these little cute little pennants? I don't know. This triangular one, this little pocket looking one. What do you think? I'm not sure. Um, I'm a little conflicted. I'm definitely pretty sold on my cupcake. I really like the way it came out. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? I was just thinking there's another option. If I'm going to print it on that bright paper, I could just get those circle letters. Those might look cute. So let's insert a shape. And if you hold shift down, it'll make it a perfect circle. And I want to fill my paper. I remember I'm going to print it on color background. So I need this to be transparent. I'm going to put a little border around this circle. Let's see. Let's duplicate this circle. Make it a little bit smaller with that little dash line on my inner circle. Make the weight of that a little heavier. Increase the weight on that one too. That might look really cute. And then when I print it on color paper, it would look like this. That's kind of cute too. Okay, now I'm really confused. So maybe you can help me out. I don't know. Should I go circle? Should I go the pocket? Should I just go the straight pennant or just the letters? I've even seen they did the sweet work and they actually just printed them just like this. They were just black and white. They were on a full sheet of paper and it was perfect. If you wanted to change it, change the size, you could even go a 10 by 10 if you were going to do this and then make them all uniform. Then you would have 10 inch letters and it wouldn't cost you hardly anything. Let me know what you think. So far, I like to do a bulletin board with sweet work. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna do this. So teacher friends, I hope you found this build. Well, teacher, I was just getting ready to create 